word of unfailing love psalm 81 sing aloud to god our strength shout for joy to the god of jacob praise the song sound the tambourine the sweet lyre with the harp blow the trumpet at the new moon at the full moon on our feast day for it is a statute for israel a rule of the god of jacob he made it a decree in joseph when he went out over the land of egypt i hear a language i had not known i relieved your shoulder of the burden your hands were freed from the basket in distress you called and i delivered you i answered you in the secret place of thunder i tested you at the waters of meriba hear o my people while i admonish you o israel if you would but listen to me there shall be no strange god among you you shall not bow down to a foreign god i am the lord your god who brought you up out of the land of egypt open your mouth wide and i will fill it but my people did not listen to my voice israel would not submit to me so i gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsels oh that my people would listen to me that israel would walk in my ways i would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their force those who hate the lord would cringe towards him and their fate would last forever but he would feed you with the finest of the wheat but he would feed you with the finest of the wheat and with honey from the rock i would satisfy you psalms chapter 82 god has taken his place in the divine council in the midst of the gods he holds judgment how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked give justice to the weak and the fatherless maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute rescue the weak and the needy deliver them from the hand of the wicked they have neither knowledge nor understanding they walk about in darkness 
all the foundations of the earth are shaken i said you are gods sons of the most high all of you nevertheless like men nevertheless like men you shall die and fall like any prince arise o god judge the earth for you shall inherit all the nations psalms chapter 83 o god do not keep silence do not hold your peace or be still o god for behold your enemies make an uproar those who hate you have raised their heads they lay crafty plans against your people they consult together against your treasured ones they say come let us wipe them out as a nation let the name of israel be remembered no more for they conspire with one accord against you they make a covenant the tents of edom and the ishmaelites moab and the hagrites gebal and ammon and amalek philistia with the inhabitants of tyre ashur also has joined them they are the strong arm of the children of loth do to them as you did to midian as to sisera and jabin at the river kishon who were destroyed at endor who became dung for the ground make their nobles like oreb and jeb all their princes like jeba and jalmuna who said let us take possession for ourselves of the pastures of god oh my god make them like whirling dust like chaff before the wind as fire consumes the forest as the flame sets the mountains ablaze so may you pursue so may you pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your hurricane fill their faces with shame that they may seek your name o lord let them be put to shame and dismayed forever let them perish in disgrace that they may know that you alone whose name is the lord are the most high over all the earth Psalms chapter 84 How lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts my soul longs yes faints for the courts of the Lord my heart and flesh sing for joy to the living god even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars o lord of hosts my king and my god blessed are those who dwell in your house ever singing your praise blessed are those whose strength is in you in whose heart are the highways to zion as they go 
through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O oh Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O oh God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O oh God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Psalms 85 Lord, you are favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You covered all their sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation towards us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace to his people, to his saints. But let them not turn back to folly. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness meet. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs up from the ground, and righteousness looks down from the sky. Yes, the Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and make his footsteps away.